With the new version of Oracle Management Cloud, you no longer need to have Enterprise Manager Cloud Control installed in your data center. We've reduced the number of Oracle Management Cloud agents needed for you to get started. If Cloud Control is present, you can still use the Data Collector agent to inform Oracle Management Cloud about your IT environment. Or, you can use the new OMCLI utility to upload information about the entities, just as you do if you don't have Cloud Control. Because you don't need Cloud Control anymore, you don't need its agents alongside your Oracle Management Cloud agents. This simplifies setup and shortens the time it takes to get started. In earlier versions, your cloud agents had to communicate with Oracle Management Cloud via a gateway agent. Now, if your hosts can access Oracle Management Cloud directly, you don't need to deploy a gateway agent. Even so, you can still deploy one or more gateways to act as conduits between your data center and Oracle Management Cloud if you need to. To deploy a cloud agent, download the master installer and copy or download a registration key. Then, run the installer on your host and enter the registration key and tenant ID. If you've installed a gateway agent, you'll need to pass the gateway agent host name and port as well. Run the root script when prompted. There's no cloud control here, so we'll use the OMCLI utility to add entities to Oracle Management Cloud by defining their properties in JSON files. You can monitor the status of your entities with the OMCLI utility using a simpler JSON file. View all the entities being monitored by your cloud agent with the OMCLI list targets command. You can find your entities in the administration pages to stop an entity being monitored by Oracle Management Cloud, simply use the OMCLI utility to delete it. If you need to troubleshoot your cloud agents, check the agent log directories. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit us online at cloud.oracle.com.